Howdy y'all, Riggs here, and we are back with your daily dose of Mud Runner on Mud and Mud Days. <clears throat> now, we're checking out a map from another map from Remo667. We've been on a few of his maps already before, and this one is actually, uh, I don't know what to expect because I haven't been on it yet. It's called Countryside, and we're running it today with this uh 1996 Jeep a Cherokee brand new on the workshop and created by forces but posted by somebody I can't remember but the link will be in the description below and if we run into any trouble uh, we'll have that uh, Toyota Taco right next door to us here uh, to pull us out or uh, carry on the trail if we need to so we'll just uh, check out some of these add-ons here so yeah we'll go ahead and throw that roof rack on uh, spare tire yeah and the spotlight, sure, will make it a bit of a cop vehicle. Now, I don't know what to expect on this map. Uh, there is a road uh, straight out there. But let's see what kind of fuel we can carry. We'll kind of cheat and run right over the road here. Or run right over the bushes. Alright, left or right? Let's go right. Need our favorite crawling or trailing gear here. I really enjoy this model so far. Like it looks like a Cherokee should look from the from that era. I'm trying to get a closer look at the uh, image on the back. Obviously, it's uh, for whoever posted it uh, mods, uh, like in remembrance to dad. So this might be like a, a vehicle that his dad had back in the day. So I, I think that's really cool. I dig it. And I respect that, yeah. Alright, this Jeep has some balls. I was not expecting too much out of it, but uh, all right, but I'm also this map is just wow. I mean, I didn't know what to expect on this map because I, I've never been on it. Like, like I just have my basic authors that I would follow before and. Even then, I wasn't spending a lot of time in Mud Runner for the past eight months. So I definitely missed out on a lot of good, good maps and good mods. Uh oh. Now, I might not be able to do this hill. Try a different angle of attack here. Nope, not gonna happen there. Maybe straight on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, just does not want to get up that hill though. I 
gonna try a completely different angle here. Probably not supposed to be doing it this way, but. Uh oh. Doesn't even want to go that way. Well, there is a trail, another trail like right there. If the uh, worst comes to worst, we can't get up this hill. Let's just go in there. There you go. Pick up a lot of bushes. Uh, so it's got some traction issues, but you know what? I think it adds a little bit of realism to this track. And I'm going to throw this track in, into the uh, Steam Collection. I actually quite like it. And on the rig -the meter I'm going to give it uh, a 4.1. That's how much I like this vehicle. 4.1 out of 5. Uh, we're going to just do the cheater winch here. Alright, now we got to go up that way. Yep. Trail. Uh. Come on, girl. You got this. Uh-oh. There you go. But as for this map, like, how big is it? Like, we've hardly even gotten anywhere yet in the seven minutes we've been going. We gotta put some distance in. I want to see more of what's here, but I like how it's very varying. Like, this is a proper trailing map. And this one could very well be big enough to be on Riggs' Ultimate Adventure when we finally get that going. Oh, this, this truck loves the mud. Loves the mud. Alright. Left, right, or straight. Let's try and figure out where that watch point is. Take a look off to the right here and just kind of see where this trail goes. I got a good feeling. Watch point will be up this way. It's got to be. Oh, oh, wait a minute. No. That trail kind of wraps around. We're going to have to go straight. I want to definitely want to come back and check out that trail, though. Now, obviously, there, yeah, there's some logging on this map. You got two lumber mills, three, four, five lumber mills. Six, seven, wow. So this could be a great logging map too. You 
Yeah, if people actually want to see uh, me do some logging, all you got to do is put it in the comment section. And I really don't mind. I mean, I enjoy this trail riding a lot more. But, let's see, where's that? But, I don't mind doing a little bit of logging here and there. Just as long as y'all don't ask me to do it every episode. Come on, get up there. I didn't mean to hit the winch button. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. There you go. Oh, boy. Well, this is not the best trail vehicle. But I like how it is handling on the different types of terrain on the map. Just... It, just because of the realism it adds. And sometimes it's all about the challenges that the vehicle brings. Alright, we got that watch point. Now, oh, I really want to go back to that windy road over here because I don't like that'll just backtrack us towards the garage all right we'll flip a you see if we can't get that next one up Now, where is, is that going to be a bridge on the water or is it going to be an actual water crossing? Because I don't think we've checked this aside from those, that swamp hole. But I think there's a lake down there. So it might be a bit deeper. As long as we don't roll it going down this hill. But y'all know me. What do I tend to do? I tend to roll things. As I haven't done that with this yet. check this out in high. Ooh, I like that gearing in high. That's still a good pace for being on a trail. I think. We'll leave it there for now. Oh, that's actually a really good interior. Just as far as the camera placement, it's actually at a good level. I can see where we're going. Hit the mud, obviously. But who, we don't want to follow that in the interior cam. We want to follow it out here so we can see all that action. Uh, you know, I'm actually starting to become a pretty big fan of Remo 667. He's making some good maps. Some challenging maps. Some um, varying degrees on every map that you can't just stay away from. Like, this is a proper trail map, and unfortunately, it's a bridge. I was really hoping it would be a water crossing right here, but it might just be too deep for the truck, so, or any truck. You know what? Doesn't look like it. Let's, let's check out the uh, water here. Let's see how deep this is. And why we needed to have a bridge. We did not need to have a bridge here. Okay, Ramo. Here's the deal. I love this map, but take out that bridge. Now, you don't suppose the next watch point's on the beach. Uh, we'll find it. Now again, like depending on the vehicle, high is a great alternative to uh, 
drive a trail in, if, as long as it ain't running too quick and you're going to pick up damage. But this Jeep is actually really good in high. I do like that. So she just went from a 4.1 to a 4.2. Uh, we need to go left. direction we're gonna have to uh, take the beach I guess make our own oh it's right on the beach there and here I thought we we're gonna have to carve out our own trail yeah there is only one actually there is a way up or back up and another way down and that's just pretty much right here then get up to the top of this hill and we'll take a look and see uh, just exactly where to go next I mean we ain't got much time left on today's video as y'all know, I like to keep it around the 20 minute mark. So, yeah, let's just uh, whoop, hang quick, right? I'm gonna do this in automatic here. Just, I just, I'm just curious. When? Oh yeah, it picks up damage almost immediately on the bumps. What if we feather it? And just keep a good concentration on the trail. No, too much uh, shifting, I think. Throw it up back up in the high. This looks like we might have a end of a trail up here, so I figured we'll end the episode with the end of a trail. I just want to go a little bit quicker on a road like this, but yeah, we're going to be putting it in the low here. And low two for sure, going through that. I mean, just, yeah, low three is just kicking up too much water. So low two gets you moving a bit quicker. But in the mud, yeah, you still want to be in low two. Should be almost there. Oh, what's going on there? There's darn traction issues. Yeah, we want to be in low three here, not low two. cares about throwing around a little bit of mud that's what I mean mud runner right come on now 
I kind of question that. Why do I go from low three to high and then to automatic? I think it's just more comfortable doing it that way. All right, definitely end of a trail right here. But is it the end of a trail or the start of a brand new one in the bush? Makes me wonder. So, if y'all like today's episode, because I know I did. I, I enjoy this Jeep. I enjoy this map. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a great big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And better yet, go ahead and ring that notification bell because... I mean, if you really enjoyed this video, you ain't gonna want to miss the next one. And be sure to check every other video that I've put out. We're uh, getting up on, I think, 40 soon. And uh, for Mud Runner, anyway. Got a couple other series on the go. So, as I always say, y'all, until the next time, catch y'all later.